What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's topic is going is to be what happened to my Veloster N. Uh, so some people know uh, I don't have the car anymore. I don't have the Veloster. Um, and the reason why is because um, unfortunately it got repoed. Nah, I'm just kidding guys. So with uh, all the talk on the forums and the Facebook pages uh, about these cars going up in value and whatnot, I did a um, I did a quote on Vroom.com, Carvana, CarMax, all those websites. And uh, I got some crazy dumb offers for the car. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to sell it, um, now's the time. So I'm not attached to my cars, even though I do love them. Um, I sold it. So that's the story with the Velocir N. But so what happened is uh, Vroom actually offered me uh, like a crazier number that, you know, it's way above MSRP for the car. And I actually accepted it. So I went with it. I uploaded my license, my uh, uh, the picture, the odometer statement, all everything they needed. I also sent the, uh, they sent me a, um, a FedEx envelope for an SPOA for a secure power of attorney. And I mailed that back and, and that was that. What happened after, afterwards was crazy. So I get a phone call from a tow truck driver saying that uh, he's gonna schedule my pickup in the next 24 hours. So I was like, all right, cool, no problem. Um, the next day somebody calls me, a different tow truck company calls me and says, hey, just calling to confirm the location, where, where is the car gonna be at? So that right there was a little shady. I said, well, you guys are picking it up. Shouldn't you know? So the guy calls me back and says, all right, you, you know, your car is located at so-and-so address, which is my home address. However, I told Room to pick it up for my work. So I told the guy, I was like, you know, all right, you can pick it up, no problem. What time are you coming? He says, tomorrow, I forget what time it was, at three o'clock. I said, okay, no problem, cool. Later on, the same exact day, a different tow truck company calls me and says, hey, we're just calling to confirm your pickup for uh, the Veloster. And I'm like, well, who who are you? And he's like, uh, well, we got uh, we got a notification to uh, pick up your car. I said, yeah, but who are you? He gave me the name, of the, com the name of the company, and it was a totally different company. So at that point, I was like, all right, well, I don't even know who the real company is that's supposed to pick up my car. So let's call let's call Vroom. So I called Vroom, and they gave me the name of the company, which was the first company I spoke to, and they're like, yeah, they're the only people supposed to pick up your car. But sometimes what these people do is, you know, they pass on their work to a different company that's more local to you, and then they'll take the car to their shop and whatnot. But I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to deal with that. So I call, I told Room, listen, I'm just going to cancel everything. Uh, I'm not selling you guys a car. Cancel my paper. Rip it up. Do whatever you got to do. But I'm not going to give you my guys my car. And that was the end of that. So the next thing I did was um, I went to uh, I went to my local CarMax, and I got a quote from them. And I pretty much just sold them the car on the spot, got a check for the car, and deposited, and the car and the money's mine. So now what I did is I was able to pick up this Santa Fe. So this guy, this is a 2022 uh, Santa Fe Limited 2.5 Turbo, and uh, I'm actually gonna make a video of this car so you guys can enjoy it. I know somebody asked me, somebody said they saw this car in a video before, and yeah, I, it's my car. You know, I bought this car. It's more like a temporary car. Uh, the main reason I bought it was to make it a uh, a tour car. I wanted to I wanted to put this car on Turo, but when I actually bought it, I was like, you know what? This car is too nice to put on Turo. I don't want somebody abusing it. Um, so I'm just keeping it for a little while until I can get my hands on this uh, Elantra. And yep, I'm waiting for my Elantra N along with all you guys that uh, did a reservation with me. So we're all in the same boat waiting for this car. And hopefully, soon enough, this car will come. But all right, guys, I just wanted to give you a story on what happened with the Velocir N. Uh, I don't have it anymore. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Actually, question for you guys. If I were to buy an Elantra N DCT and I put it on Turo, would you guys rent it? And how much are you willing to pay for it per day to rent it? But my personal car is going to be a manual. But to rent it, of course, I'm going to put a, a DCT in there. Alright guys, let me know in the comments, um, and I'll see you at the next video. I'll probably shoot another video today uh, of this Santa Fe, so you guys can see it. It's a, it's a really nice ride, smooth ride, um, and I'm sure you guys are going to like it. Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. By the way guys, here's a bonus clip from something that happened earlier today. Enjoy. Hello. Good. Can I, I want to pay for a guy behind me also. I want to pay for the guy behind me also. Okay, 
Yes. Six or two. For the okay. No, no, it, that's right. <laughs> I don't want to take his order also. Yeah, I just want to pay, that's all. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Appreciate it. They wanted to give me the guy's order, but I don't want that. I just want to pay for it. All right, let's get out of here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Simply type in John Concha, hit subscribe, and hit the bell.